gentlelady from Tennessee. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I appreciate the time. You know, I think that all of us come here because of our concern, great concern, about women and uh, mammography and the health care issues that are found before us. Um, when it comes to breast cancer, we are very grateful for early detection. We know it's important. And so because of that, it is with great sadness that we have read what is in this bill. Because in H.R. 3962, it clearly shows how the recommendations will limit America's choices and women's choices. Uh, reading through the bill, Section 2301 does establish the Task Force on Clinical Preventive Services, and it clearly says that A and B are priority levels for these treatments. You can read on page 1318, and I do, Mr. Speaker. It says in line two, the speaker shall ensure shall ensure that A and B is going to be the rating that is covered, but C is not. And what we're discussing in this 40 to 49 age group is those C ratings, and the speaker is not going to have, the secretary will not have the power to downgrade that decision. Section 222 of the bill. What you have in this resolution is going to be negated by Section 222 of the bill that says the services designated A or B priority are part of the essential benefits package. So just saying that the guidelines would not prohibit an insurer from providing coverage, your own legislation is going to end up negating that if that is signed into law. The language of this bill is clear. All insurance providers must offer A and B priority services. They have no incentive or a mandate to offer priority C or below. And that is where it affects women under 50 and women over age 75. And those indeed are valuable lives. Mr. Speaker, we do look at this legislation. We look at Section 2301, where it says that all recommendations all recommendations of the Preventive Services Task Force and the Task Force on Community Preventive Services as in existence on the day before the date of the enactment of this bill shall be considered to be the recommendations of the Task Force on Clinical Preventive Services. At that point, Mr. Speaker, unfortunately, they are going to have the full weight of law behind them. It is in the bill. Yes, we look at this and we see the bureaucrat in the exam room right here. We look at it and we all know and have loved and have held family members in our arms that have been affected and would have lost their lives had they not had access to early detection. It concerns us. Do not ration health care. Support the resolution, but let's go further and get it out of the bill. I yield.